Uh, so, Lawrence, you must, be, uh, you must be a happy man. You have got an MP. Yes. Um, can I just quickly start, Patrick, by correcting this constant uh, media repudiated narrative that um, Andrew Bridgen in any way compared the uh, rollout of the vaccine to the Holocaust? He was indeed quoting a Jewish researcher who said that it was the worst thing that happened since the greatest crime against humanity since the Holocaust. And, you know, the problem with the media at the moment is if you repeat the same lie often enough, it starts to become the truth. So, yes, I'm absolutely thrilled that uh, Andrew has joined us. Uh, we are setting fire to the middle of England here. And um, I have offered people, and we've worked very, very hard to do this, we're giving people, those very disaffected people, the silent majority, we're giving you a chance now to support Andrew Bridgen in his war against the Conservative Party, who are trying to deprive North West Leicestershire of their own MP. So do you think he's got much of a chance of remaining as North West Leicestershire's MP then? Because, obviously, as you will know, sometimes the smaller parties, when push comes to shove and it's just people in their, in their pencil and a ballot at the polling booth, sometimes they just go for what they know, don't they? And in this case, what they know will be the Tories. Well, I mean, if you look at the council results in North West Leicestershire, Andrew Bridgen absolutely did not want this information to become clear at this point, which is why we've had to move things forward. Um, Andrew Bridgen wanted to campaign as a Conservative because he is a Conservative. And the Reclaim Party have no interest in uh, the politics in that way. What we want is for Andrew Bridgen to continue to serve his constituency and not have the Conservative Party deprive his constituents of the best MP they've ever had. OK, so what kind of ticket will he be standing on then? Well, what is, what is Reclaim all about? Reclaim is all about saying the things that are commonsensical that everyone already knows, and it's about overstepping these absolutely supernatural uh, and supernational organisations like the WHO and the European Union and the climate uh, lobby, who are, who, are, who are bringing in uh, policies which have absolutely nothing to do with what we voted for. You know, we have enough problems in this country without having to go on some perilous pursuit of net zero, where the, the climate crisis is, an abs is a fabrication in the same way as the pandemic was. And uh, we also are going to be very strong on borders. You cannot have a welfare state with open borders. It is absolutely impracticable. So we're going to be saying the things that every normal minded, common sense called Britain thinks. And we're going to be saying them in Parliament. And we're going to be saying them with Andrew Bridgen. OK, and look, I Obviously, my views on this are pretty well documented, but for the sake of it, Lawrence, I do, I do have to ask you, I mean, do you think that there's any potential pushback when Andrew Bridgen takes to his feet in the House of Commons, having you know, had a bit of a number done on him by the Conservative Party, it's fair to say, will what he has to say actually have any cut through? Well, listen, it's a very long process. Three years ago, I was sat on a roof of a hotel bar drinking margaritas as an actor. And three years later, I sat watching the first Prime Minister's Question Times with a reclaimed party MP in Parliament. So it's all up to us, guys. It's up to the people of this country to go, I've put us here, Andrew Bridgen has put us here, and it is up to us to get behind him and, get, and support him to innovate that vote, the 10% of the vote in one of the biggest Brexit voting seats in the country, and to get everybody out because this is your chance. There's so many WhatsApp groups, so many Twitter things, so many everything, and people saying we need change. This is your opportunity for change. Get behind it. OK, now, look, clearly the tweet that was put out, Andrew Bridgen has gone on this channel and on record numerous times and said that he doesn't have access to his own Twitter account. He didn't have the code, so it was put out in conjunction with his local Conservative Association. Therefore, it was approved by people other than him. As you've rightly pointed out at the top of the show that he also says that he was simply quoting uh, a, actually a, a Jewish uh, individual uh, about all of this. So those are his lines. If that can result in someone being booted out of a national party, a major party, the party that currently holds the keys to Downing Street... Do you think that is a concerning thing, frankly, for the rest of us as well in society? I think we should be absolutely terrified that Matthew Hancock, when Andrew Bridgen is asking very reasonable questions, we're looking at 2,600 deaths, excess deaths this week. That's 20.2%. I think it may even be 25.2% above the five-year national average. All Andrew Bridgen wanted to do was ask why. Throughout the pandemic, we were told 
if it saves a single life, stick on your silly mask and all this stuff. What about the lives of these families, these two and a half thousand families, brothers, sisters, husbands and wives? What about their lives? Do their lives not matter? Do we not need to look at what happened to them? Andrew Bridgen is asking the questions that every single Conservative or so-called Conservative MP should be asking. And for the treatment that he received at the hands of the absolutely appallingly uh, libelous former health secretary Matthew Hancock, by the way, which we have launched a libel uh, claim today against for calling him an anti-Semite is the most egregious abuse of parliamentary privilege. But fortunately, he shared it on Twitter, which doesn't uh, allow for parliamentary privilege. And I, I can tell the people of this country, if you want to get behind, if you, if you want to say anything, to, uh, to Andrew Bridgen in, in a message of support, or, or you want to hold Matthew Hancock to account. I would say, go to the Bad Law Project, go to the Reclaim Party, find the link, get behind. We've, we've had the crowdfunder running for just over an hour. We're £10,000 in. Right. We're going to hold this government to account, just, and it's the last thing we do. Just quickly, Lawrence, one of Andrew Bridgen's very key points was that the Conservative Party that he sees before him today is not the Conservative Party that he joined. It's not the Conservative Party, in his view, that many people voted for. Therefore, he has not shifted. The party has shifted around him. If that is the case, surely you must be talking to other Tory MPs who fancy joining your party as well, are you? Absolutely, this is just the very, very beginning. All right, OK, well, we won't be drawing on that, but there we go. Lawrence, thank you very much. Lawrence Fox there is, of course, uh, a GB News presenter uh, and, of course, uh, very much at the top of the tree of uh, the Reclaim uh, Party. Now we all